nap at some point. I'm going to do that if there's a moment to, but I'd be ready to work. Like, let's go. Let's I know get that's it. Right, man. So, I knocked my stuff out. Um, um, how can I see your show impact? So you can download the impact app, which I have it on my phone. You can download it. If it's not on your cable network, you can download it on your phone. You can do that. Scorpio season. Yes, it is, baby. And you know what? I can feel it. Like, I, I can feel it. I feel it, man. I feel it. I do. Um, It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, Anthony said filming isn't a joke. It's not. Um, so yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I feel great. I feel at peace. I feel happy. Now I'm a little tired today. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take me a nap though. Um, you know, I'm about to take me a little nap. I was up to about three this morning. So I'm about to take me a nap, but I have been feeling great. Um, I have been feeling like two weeks so my trees and everything everything's going up in like two three weeks i can't wait it's gonna be so much fun i'm sorry y'all um to and i love just the time. warmth the warmth of it all like you know i love it i don't know and that could be another thing too like the holiday season is coming so that's always that's always a plus thank you guys for buying badges i see y'all thank you thank you thank you thank you since you and Rich are both Scorpios, we all be celebrating together, <laughs> not romantically, just out for drink. Why is Pookie coming on the show? Yes, but that's fine. Um, but <laughs> um, no, um, no, we are not cool. I don't know. I I'm really I'm cool with me. I I stay to my to myself. Most of the time, myself and people that I've been cool and friends with for five plus years. Um, so, um, girl, you don't need filters. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. And I don't. Go check out my story. I just posted a picture this morning with no filter. So, thank you. Confirmation. Yes, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Um, whew. Are you on the room? Are you on the room? Is this all I'm going to say is stay tuned, honey. Stay tuned. <laughs> Sooner than you probably think to that to that question. Um, <laughs> Y'all know I, I'm strategic with everything I do and how I move. Um, let me see. I, I'm not trying to add nobody to the chat because I'm sleeping. I ain't going to be on here that long. But I am trying to see. Y'all didn't type no questions. Y'all got questions in the comments. But y'all didn't type. Why is Pookie coming on the show? Hey, F.E.D. woman. Happy birthday. In the question piece of the thing. How did the reunion go? Are you mentally okay? Okay. So, I give a, you know, I'm not going to give too much because y'all need to watch the reunion. Um, but, yeah, I'm mentally amazing. <laughs> um, it went great for me. <laughs> um yeah, I mean, I was, I actually was amazing. I felt great. <laughs> um, I will say that the reunion showed me just how much growth and how much at peace I am because it's a peace that's not even, I mean, just being real is, is surpasses all understanding. Like, shoot, you know, yeah, <laughs> um, surpasses all understanding. And um, that's what I, that's what I was on. And that's how I felt. And that's how I carried myself. And that's how I was. Just amazing. But you know, one thing about it, whenever you're blessed, whenever God is blessing you and things are going great for you, you know, you don't spend a lot of time to try to go into all the extra stuff. So, um, you know, it's just like, just amazing. Um, I was too cute, honey. I was sitting up there, child, sitting up there. I be doing my own, little, my own little thing. But you know, I said the things I needed to say. But it, I was very calm. I was very calm the whole time. Y'all, let's see. Make sure y'all watch. Make sure y'all watch. Um, was it hard for you to get to a place of peace? Um, 
the hard piece for me, I would say probably getting to a place of peace is constantly being put in situations or in rooms or in conversations with people that that affect your peace and that you probably normally wouldn't converse with. So once I got to a place where I removed that, where I was just like, I well, I refuse to do this and I refuse to do that and I'm not going to do this because my peace is more important. Once I started doing that and um, I started to um, put my peace in the forefront of anybody else what anybody else thought should happen or what anybody else thought you know conversation should happen once I started putting myself and my peace in front of that then it became easy but before that I ain't gonna lie it was tough because it was like soon as you feel like you feeling like okay I'm good at peace then you gotta go back into I'll say the lion's den right um and so then you got to redo getting back to that peaceful place all over again. And I think the reason why I am where I am now pertaining to my peace is because I just, I, I had to remove and let go of certain things and just be like, mm -mm, I ain't doing that. Nope. And I ain't doing that. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so once you start removing certain elements of things that disrupt your peace, you know, Shoot, that's whenever I say what I call mastering peace, then you can master peace. How do you think people are responding to the new melody? Man, listen. <laughs> Y'all got some good questions. Um, um, so I'm not going to say the new melody, but I'm going to say the melody that found peace, melody that was at peace, then went through, um, a crazy situation and has now found peace again because i'm not i i've not lived a life full of no peace um so i'm not gonna say a new melody per se but now a melody with a newfound peace is what i say um and a person who's gotten back to peace i think people don't know how to handle it um i think people want you to continue to respond or be the same way that they they wanted you to be or were used to you being because they saw you for two or three years being that way, um, being reactive. And so it is kind of, I think it's kind of challenging and difficult, but fortunately for me, <laughs> fortunately for me, um, I, I don't care too much about what people think or 